The remote town of Eureka, Mexico has a famous ultramarathon called the Caballo Blanco. The course is 50 miles long through an unforgiving terrain unlike anything I've ever experienced. What makes this ultramarathon so unique isn't just the distance and terrain, but the runners. Local villagers who consist of anything from elderly women running in sandals to teenagers running in boots and jeans, all without proper training. Joining them are visitors from around the world who travel thousands of miles to run alongside the Raramuri. I am here to discover the passion that drives these superhero athletes to run such an intense race. My name is Colin O'Brady, and I'm a professional endurance athlete. I'm a two-time world record holder in mountaineering. I'm on the summit of Mount Everest! I've come here to Mexico to compete in the famous ultramarathon, the Caballo Blanco, named after an American runner who came to the Copper Canyon many years ago. One of the most famous Tarahumara who ran with him, Arnolfo, has come to race once more, and I'm lucky enough to meet him. Before uh, Caballo Blanco passed away, did you know him? Was he a friend of yours? Sí, yo conocí a Topila primero, luego me invitó a mí a correr aquí. Me gustó mucho a mí porque apoya muy bien y ganamos tres veces aquí que cuando me invitó aquí. I'm going to run with shoes on, but are you going to be running in these? Rachilunas. Rachilunas. Right. And tell me about running in those. Is it is it difficult? El tenis me me apoya. Sí, a mí sí me gusta más de guarache. And do these ever break when they run, or do they are they very strong? No, este aguanta un día. Sí. It's only one piece of strength. Sí. Me manda vuelta. Wow. I've been a big, a big fan, and you're a huge inspiration for me. So it's a dream come true to meet you. Thank you very much. Miguel, who is the winner of last year's competition, lives just a few miles from here. Yo me llamo Miguel Ara Viñedra, de aquí de la comunidad de Porosia, y pues yo soy un tarumar que pues siempre he corrido. Y pues convivir con los demás gente también, pues para aprender un poco de lo que ellos saben también. Da gusto ganar también. Ponte hace como un año, eran como 57. Casi toda la mayoría, primeros y segundos. Pues nosotros vamos para Orique, pues ahorita vamos a hacer una caminata un poquito. Creo que es como 50 kilómetros. Y pues, pues nosotros pues siempre normalmente pues corremos allá de 100 kilómetros y, y de 80 a 60. Me llamo Colin. I've heard that you've won this race before, is that right? Sí, sí, ha ganado como tres veces. Three times? Sí. <laughs> How many hours does it take to finish the race? Pues como seis horas y media más o menos. Lo menos que he hecho. How long do you think it's going to take me? This is my very first time. Pues la verdad no sé, pues es que yo necesito ver cómo camines. For me, it's a great honor to be here with you. Hopefully, I'll learn from some of your tips and be able to uh, complete the race tomorrow. I noticed that you are actually wearing the uh, the Hirachi sandals right now. So are you going to plan to run in those tomorrow, or? <laughs> no, I've just bought these from from here because you know these epitomise the resilience and the determination of the local people here. So no, I thought I would give it a go. They're really comfortable. All right, I think I'm going to try on a pair. Let's give it a go. Yeah, they feel pretty good, right? Should we give it a little bit of a test run? I think that's a good All idea. All right, let's do this. <laughs> Give it a little jog. But they're surprisingly comfortable. They're yeah. really, like, really comfortable, yeah. yeah. I can see how they could be good. I don't know, my front foot is used to having a little more, like, shock absorbing coming down. Yeah, good luck on the race tomorrow. We'll see yeah. you out there. Yeah, see you yeah. there.
5 a.m., headed to the race. Gonna be an epic day out here running with the Terra Hamura. What a dream come true. I'll uh, see how the day goes. En 48 participantes tenemos en este día, en este maratón, edición número 16. Del ultramaratón, fuerte el aplauso para todos ustedes. Una, dos, tres, de corazón. course is hilly and kind of winding some big steep hills following this river here people have tripped and fall there was a little bit of a stream crossing where people just jumping over rocks but uh the terra Hamura seemed to not be phased running straight through the stream and their sandals um feeling kind of soft compared to them to be honest Man, that was steep up there. It was a tiny little single track trail, switch backing all the way up to the top and then running all the way down. The downhill is kind of crushing my legs, but I think about three hours, 15 minutes in, we've done almost 20 miles or so, so definitely starting to feel the fatigue. It's hot and challenging and hard, but uh, the environment and being here uh, in, this, in this place is just keeping me motivated to keep going. This is where it goes from the physical to the mental. It's up here. Last mile, coming into town. Woo! This course is hard. Mental toughness, physical toughness. I've seen it all today. Oh. Just finished the marathon. What an incredible experience. Really tested me today, but so inspired being here. Like I said, a dream come true to be out running with the Terra Hamura. So I'll remember this for the rest of my life. Sean bienvenidos a esta ceremonia de premiación a los ganadores. Congratulations, my friend. Felicitaciones. How do you feel? Pues ahorita por lo pronto ya pues un poco recuperado de lo cansado. Pues fue mi mejor tiempo, el tiempo que yo hacía pues era 6:25 y pues ahora rompí 6:18. It was amazing to run with you. For me, it was such an inspiration to see you running. You did a very good job to you, my friend. Um, congratulations to you and, and to your family. I've competed in triathlons professionally all over the world, completing the Ironman, but the challenge today was truly unique. Just having the opportunity to run through the Copper Canyon in this beautiful place was incredible enough but having the opportunity to run alongside the Terra Hamura, some of the world's greatest runners, was something I will never forget. The way they competed with such poise, humility, strength, I really don't know how they do it. The journey today was something I will never forget and cherish as I compete in other endurance events around the world. <laughs>